to I Am Refocused Radio with your host, Shamaya Reed. This show is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. And now, here's your host, Shamaya Reed. Hey, welcome to I Am Refocused Radio. Man, we are here once again. And today, we have a true honor talking to a special guest. She's been on here before, but she's on again. We're talking about the two-time Emmy award-winning journalist and author, Tamron Hall. You guys are not a stranger to her. She has an amazing new book that we're going to be discussing today. Watch Where They Hide, first and foremost. Thank you for coming on. Tell us all about your book. It's good to be back on with you. I am so excited. The second book in the Jordan Manning series is out now. Jordan is back on the case. And this time um, she is investigating the disappearance of a mother of two. And we find Jordan risking her own safety, risking her job to get to the bottom. I like to say, you know, Jordan is is a character where she doesn't want to be just a witness. She's a participant in finding justice. She's inspired by my life. This case, like with the first book, inspired by real cases that I covered as a reporter on deadline crime for over a decade. But Jordan is her own beast. You know, she's her own animal and she is ready um, to to continue and and pounce, if you will, uh, on those who stand in the way of justice. And speaking of your character in the book, Jordan Manning, I mean, she is really putting on the superhero cape. When you look at how you develop her character and all the twists and turns of her trying to find this justice, how did you yeah. kind of pinpoint that? You know, I, I as I said, I, I first started with cases that I actually covered. And so that gave me my baseline and it gave Jordan and it gives Jordan a level of credibility because these are things rooms and places and spaces that I've occupied authentically that, you know, it wasn't, Hey, here's a script. And what was it like? You know, I was there. And so I'm able to give Jordan that credibility and what she's able through fiction to give the reader is an opportunity to go along with her to find the pieces, the Easter egg, all of these things that, that folks look for in these true thriller, the books and series. But I also wanted her to be honest with you, uh, to be a young 30-something woman looking for her place in, in life, right? She, she's really good at what she does as a reporter, but she's really bad at finding love. She's really bad right now deciding what her priorities are. She loves her job, but she's, you know, on in this romantic cycle with this, this young man who's interested in her, but also her friend circles. You know, she's not on this island alone. While it's the Jordan Manning series, we get to know her family, her friends, and even her allies who help her solve these crimes. I wanted people to almost have this binge watch experience, but in this case, binge reading Jordan and wanting more from her and, and going along with her to solve this crime that involved infidelity and lies and deception. And through Jordan, we're digging in and uncovering all of it. As you are developing the story within the novel, she is on the pressure with herself trying to to prove herself as a professional, a black professional at that. As she reaches all these different points and twists and turns in the storyline with her trying to find more details with Shelly reaching out Mm -hmm. from her and and get to the bottom of the situation with Marla. Mm -hmm. What were some of the challenges, if any, to keep the story is a page turner. You know, the the challenge wasn't creating it because of, of my years of covering true crime. To your point, you know, Jordan is a black female reporter. And here I am all these years later, you know, someone who has, uh, I'm, I'm very honored and blessed to have the TAM fam and this great, you know, talk show that they've supported. But I learned in the first series that this is the first Black female protagonist who's a journalist solving crime written by a Black female ever in the genre of thriller and true crime. So the challenge for me has been to first let people know, like, no, I really wrote a book. No, Tamron Hall wrote a book. Yes, I wrote this book and with my own hands, with my own mind and, and breaking down some of, of what people see me as in the talk show. They know I do the talk show. They know I executive produce the talk show. Now, wait a minute, she wrote a book. Is, is it a self-help book? What is it? No, it's a true crime thriller. And then breaking the wall down of the thriller world that in so many ways often, you know, people believe 
you know, a truth thriller writer is a male or white male or older white male and saying, no, you know, great books and great writers come from all backgrounds. And, and so like with my career and becoming the first black woman to host the weekday today show, you know, my desire to break down the walls of the thriller world with good work, right? I'm not just saying, oh, I'm Tamron Hall, buy my book because I have a talk show. I poured and labored over this story. I want at the end for your heart to beat. And I want you to say, Jordan, what are you thinking? And I want you to root for her in love and in life, but also see why justice matters and see the character who's able to do much more than I could ever do and much more than most reporters because we are obligated to stay in a box within a room and now Jordan is breaking down that wall. With your background in journalism, you shed light on many important issues. In the book, it tackles a serious issue such as domestic abuse and challenges faced by black professionals. How do you hope the readers will engage with these uh, themes and what message do you hope that they take away? Well, I hope that, you know, again, like with the world of crime, Jordan gives you a glimpse into what it's like to be a black journalist. You know, I I was telling a friend, even with my talk show, when I first launched the show, there were so many publicists and, 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 you know, managers and folks, even though we had the highest debut tied with Kelly Clarkson um, in daytime talk shows in 14 years, People would often, you know, if there was an A-list black actor or actress, they would instantly send them to Kelly Clarkson and then send us the lesser known person. And we would take the lesser known person because you know that there are certain people who might be culturally important that the mainstream doesn't appreciate. But we would also say, wait a minute. So if the person is a lesser known black talent, they come to us, but your A-list black talent goes to another show and then your A-list white talent or A-list Latino could go to there. And we're both doing the same number because I'm black. My show is black. That makes no sense. I'm unapologetic of who I am. I am a black Southern woman, but I'm a talk show host and I have to put on a competitive show. So we would call out, you know, publicists and agencies who would only send us their lesser known black talent. And I say that again, very cautiously, because we know, I know that there are people who are culturally relevant that the mainstream would not get. And we rated great with those folks, but it was important that we weren't marginalized. I'm a black woman who hosts a talk show, not a black woman with a black talk show. We want everyone to watch our show. I had a conversation with Kevin Hart about it. And that does not mean I'm in any way diminishing the specialness, the special thought, if you will, that my personal life journey as a black woman brings to the table. Once again, we're talking to our special guest for today. You can get her book, Miss Tamron Hall herself. You can get the book. It is March 12th is when you can get it. We have all the links that will guide you to get the book tomorrow in our show notes. First and foremost, with your busy schedule, very high demanding schedule, how do you find the time to prioritize your writing and yeah. making that a big hit? Yeah. You know, I, I, my dad was in the military and um, over the years, he always taught me um, just the importance of really organizing yourself. And, you know, we say don't put a 20 on a 10. And what I mean by that is I save room for the things that matter and the things that don't. I don't let them occupy space in my heart, in my mind, in my direction. I don't. You know, even when I, um, you know, left the Today Show, people would say, yeah, aren't you so mad? You should speak out. You should say something. And I said, you know, if I focus on the mad, that weighs my wings down. I need to be able to fly. And so for me, if I focus on the things that don't matter or the inconsequential, that that keeps me from doing the next chapters that I want in my life. And this next chapter happens to be Jordan Manning and watch where they hide and all of those great things I'm able to pour into her. So it's, it really is just about saying, what do I want from this journey? And what am I going to make time to, to happen, to come true? The one and only Tamron Hall. Make sure you go get the book, Watch Where They Hide, a Jordan Manning novel. Once again, like always, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.